What's up, everybody? This is Bianca from Tacoa Gospel Music News, and I had the opportunity to interview Zy L, the fabulous female group that's now down to a trio, however, no less potent. They have a whole lot going on, they have a new record label, and they're looking to put out their CD in 2012. So sit back, relax, and listen to hear what Zy L has to say. We're talking to the ladies of Zy L. So, how are you guys doing tonight? We are awesome. Wonderful. That's good. Okay, so I'd like to start by having everybody introduce themselves and then tell your fans one little known fact about you guys. Okay. What's up, okay. everybody? This is your girl, Keandra, and Henry. my favorite designer is Betsy Johnson. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Ashton. My favorite, hmm, I like to eat. <laughs> and Crystal, Crystal, Crystal's not here, but shout out to Crystal. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get started. So Zayel is, ha- is in a new direction, new look. Love the picture, by the way. And we're Thank anticipating you. the arrival of the CD. You're very welcome. In 2012. So what makes Zayel different from other groups that are out now? What makes you guys stand out? Wow. Well, you know, actually, hi, everybody. Again, this is Keandra. I believe that um, the thing that makes us stand out is our harmony. Um, I-, I guess it's like it's, it's genetically built in some kind of way. And, you know, so, I, I mean, Afton and I are cousins. So I-, I guess, you know, it's a family thing where that's concerned. And then where Crystal comes into play, it's, We've been singing together for years, so our blending and bonding where singing and music is concerned, we've just gotten on the same level. So I, I, I would have to credit that to us singing for years upon years together. Okay, and you guys do have a good blend. It's outstanding, actually. So, yeah, that's a good thing. And you, you and Ashton are a brother and sister? Or may not sister and brother, but related? You guys are related? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was crazy. No, you no, guys are related? Cool. Yes, we are. Uh, we're cousins. Oh, okay. Good. Well, that's nice to sing with family. Yeah. Right, right. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we all know that Christina Bell left the group, and you know I had to ask this question, um, to pursue a solo career. So will you guys be planning maybe in the future a reunion concert, you know, that would include her or maybe some type of CD? Later on, after you know she pursues what she wants, have you thought about doing anything like that? I don't know. We haven't thought about that at all. It sounds like a okay. great idea. I know the the CD would sell and the concert would be. <laughs> yeah. Be yeah. That yeah, I would like say it's a, Yeah, it's a possibility. It means right. it's a possibility. It could be all five. You never right, know. Right, does. right, right. So, yeah. Look forward to it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I've also read that you'll remain a trio until you decide to replace, you know, the young lady that left Christina. So what will the what what would you got? First of all, is that true? And then secondly, what requirements or what qualifications would you look for in a fourth member of Gael? If we were to uh, pursue yeah, a fourth you... member, mm-hmm. uh, well, about the uh, the fourth member, we haven't decided yet if we're gonna ask someone okay. to join. Um and. I guess I would say, yeah, oh, I would, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you you about to say, you, she always say what I'm thinking anyway. Go ahead, <laughs> Keon. The, the quality, definitely they'd have to have a great head on their shoulders, and they cannot be about themselves. Um, over the past couple of years, each of us have, you know, just rededicated our minds and our hearts to God in the ministry. And we will admit ourselves that at times before we had been, you know, a, a tad bit selfish and focused on, you know, other things. But, you know, that's the great thing about God. Like he'll get you and tap you on your shoulder and remind you what you're here for. And we have open minds. So we're like, okay, Lord, I hear you. I'm sorry. And we get on in line. And so that's definitely, uh, they, of course, have to have great vocals, but, you know, we're in these last and evil days where, yes, singing mm-hmm. is going to be the bomb, but folks need to be saved. You know, we're yeah. dedicated to the lost, and that's 
girl, that person would have to definitely be focused on God. And, um, you know, that's, that's where it is with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tell me yeah, about I your agree. record label. I'm sorry. Tell me about your record label, label uh, Bella Don Records, and what made you start that? Okay, well, um, it's been said by different uh, industry reps, how, you know, you need your own label and uh, things of that nature. But, you know, you would listen to what they say, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's, that is a good idea. It's cool. But then when you, you know, go down the road and you've experienced many things uh, where the industry is concerned, and you figure out at the end of the road, okay, yes, it is time to do your own thing. <laughs> and, okay. you know, get your own label started and, you know, so... But Bella, in um, Italian, means beautiful. And, of course, dawn is uh, the dawning of a new day. So put that together as mm-hmm. like beautiful dawn, beautiful morning. And uh, for Zael, you know, we've had some dark nights. And the Bible says that the darkest hour is before day. And mm-hmm. I tell you, it is morning. It is morning. And we are ready to rock and roll. <laughs> it's just, you know, okay. what we need to do. Well, that's great. That, that's good to see young ladies with an entrepreneurial spirit going forth and doing what God's telling them to do and claiming your own because you're leaving a legacy, basically, for right. you know, your children and your children's children to go forth into what you've actually established in the earth. So that's a good thing. Right. Okay. So you guys are working on a new project, right? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> Yeah. She's like, yay, so tell me a little bit about that, about your project, you know. <laughs> what direction do you guys plan on going in? And, you know, just who's riding? Are you riding? You know, are you depending on other people? Or okay. who would you like to work with? You know, that kind of thing. So what's going on with your project? The new sound is both traditional funk and mainstream. Um, this time we're adding a bit of CCM and pop. So just to, you know, kind of loosen it up and, you know, get some some new stuff in there. And um, I can't really feel yet uh, the uh, producers and, you know, the the main Yeah, don't tell, don't tell them yet, Keandra. Don't tell them yet. <laughs> okay. Don't <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Just keep us on the edge. <laughs> I yes, can so. tell you, though, it's going to be a great, a really, yes. really great project. And we have a lot, some, some people who's been in the industry a while. Okay. So that's that's as much hint as I'm gonna give you. <laughs> okay. Okay, so wish list. If you could work with one person that you've never worked with, not even on this project that you're working on now, who would the one producer be that okay, yeah, I think I, we need to work with this person and you know, we might not be getting to him right now or her right now, but this is uh, the person that we might want to work with later. Key I don't know who I'm thinking. Tell him Key. Who are you thinking about, Aspen? Same person you're thinking. Come on. <laughs> you're crazy. No, you might not be thinking about who I'm thinking about. <laughs> uh, I, I would well, I definitely. Uh-huh. You want to go ahead? Go ahead, and I'll tell mine. Go ahead. Okay. I definitely choose to work with uh with Rodney Jerkins. That's okay. been a dream of mine for the longest. He's produced Brandy and, mm-hmm. you know, all the major hitters, and that is just so, oh, oh my gosh, up down my alley. Just okay. Working, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. I would like to work with Pajam. I like it. <laughs> I would love to work with Pajam. Well, okay. shout out to the <laughs> <laughs> And, of course, Rodney, like, and Chris, Rodney Jenkins, of, of course, he's great, too, who Keandra said. He's wonderful. Like, I love yeah. Brandy CD. But I would also okay. like to work with the Jam. Of course, his name, they, their names stand alone. Yeah. You know. Yeah, she's like, get at me. Uh, call me. <laughs> 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 right, <it> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what are some of the challenges in singing in a girl group? I know you touched on a little bit of it earlier, but, you know, are there any challenges that for young people out there that might want to start, you know, they might have their cousins and their friends and they might want to start a group. What wisdom can you give 
young people, you know, when it comes down to, you know, starting the group, you know, they're in the church, they like to sing, you know, and they might want to sing together. But what are some of the challenges and some of the wisdom that you guys can give to some of the younger generations, even though we're not that old right now? But, you know, <laughs> yeah. Just some girls coming well, up. Well, behind. I can say, right. <laughs> well, well, I can say um, that, of course, you have to keep your the word in your heart. And mm-hmm. when you have the word in your heart, you have to apply it. It's just not in your heart. You have to also apply it. Um, working with a girl group, it, it can be challenging, but the, the challenging thing uh, that I guess our understanding is we know how we are. You know, I know what makes Keandra upset. I know what makes Crystal upset. So there's not, let's not go there, you know. <laughs> we won't go there. You know what I'm saying? And then it helps a lot, and what has really paced us, it helps a lot, is keeping, you know, us always praying together. Us, mm-hmm. We do fast together. You know, we have, like, our little quote-unquote prayer meetings together. <laughs> you know, okay. I mean, it, it's just it's just like you have to kind of just continue, continue to keep God in your face, not only, you know, in a gospel group, but in your life. So, therefore, when it comes to some to, some, to um, a singing career or whatever you desire to do for the Lord, then it will come at ease. Um, I, I can only and, – and the thing about Zael, once – if I'm upset with Keandra or, let's say, I was upset with Crystal, it doesn't last long. I mean, it lasts, mm-hmm. like, three seconds. Like, Keandra, get out of my face. Keandra, <laughs> get something to eat. You know, right. so you know, it, we we don't hold grudges at all, right. and you can't. And and I right. think that's our key. And especially our parents. Oh no, right. they won't go for it at all. So <laughs> it's our foundation. <laughs> you know, it's mm-hmm. our foundation. And then when you get upset, don't you shouldn't be angry all day. We got a whole yeah. day to go. Don't right. don't let it go. <laughs> so I, I would say I would say that's it for us. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with her. And to add a little bit on there too. It, and it goes right along with what she's saying is honesty. And yeah. um, we, you know, over the years, we've just had to be really honest with each other and and accept it. And we've learned to accept that, you know, if the girl, the other girl was mad or whatever, you know, just be honest, talk about it, and deal with it, and get over it. And yeah, know. and just let it go. Right. Yeah. I know people. People always drag girl groups. Man, you have right. guy groups that they trip so hard, but, yeah, no. you know, <laughs> right, they don't get <laughs> any, <laughs> no, no black for it at all, but, you know, I mean, we it just open never, it, it up. Is, I know, and you can, we can say it has never gotten to the point of physical or profanity. <laughs> It's right, but well, that's gotten, good. It's never gotten that extreme. <laughs> it has never gotten that extreme. And right. you know, it's not okay. your relationship. It won't happen overnight. It's just yeah. a, a, a time thing. You know, you, it's just t- and us. It was easier for us because we grew up together. So we all we already know how everybody is, what they like to eat, what they like to do, what they like to wear. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the new look, you brought that up, what you'd like to wear. So the new look is evolved, and it's very chic, you know. You guys are turning the corner on me, so that's a good thing. So what's okay. the motivation for the new style direction? Well, um, you know, I, I would... We have no limits. Yeah, right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we have no limits. Being that we're doing this independently, uh, mm-hmm. We have a great team of uh, ladies who work with us, and um, they know what they're doing. And so being that we have no limits, they just, you know, take us to that level and uh, pull out of us, um, appearance-wise, the the great and awesome style that you see here on the photo. Uh, okay. Who does, you got, who does your hair? I always like to ask these kind of questions, you know, because I'm a girl and I love hair. And I love to see, you know, people with different hairstyles, especially when it's fierce. So who does your hair? Well, for the Give photo a shout shoot, out. a girl by mm-hmm. the name of Tiffany J, which is Afton's cousin's wife. So, yeah, she's Afton's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> on, her, um, on her dad's side. So she did an awesome job. So shout out to Tiffany J. And, um, yeah, that's who did our Woo! hair. Yeah. And makeup. <laughs> Yeah, hair and okay, she did the hair and makeup. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
All right, so another question. Who are you guys listening to right now on your MP3 player, iPod, or whatever you have in your car? Who's in the rotation right now for you guys? <laughs> She's like, I was. <laughs> you now, now, too. Now, don't, you, don't you start no controversy now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> Well, Keandra, you already know who's in my CD player. Okay, well, it's probably the same thing in mine. And what I'm listening to are Zion uh-huh. Suspicions. <laughs> Zion <laughs> Suspicions. Okay. Oh, okay. That's not it. Beyonce, that is not in my CD player. Oh, well, look, I don't. <laughs> that's not what's in my CD player. Well, who you Can got I in there? Beyonce, she's going Go to ahead. in my CD player. Beyonce. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> she can sing, can't she? <laughs> That's a singing girl. <laughs> she really is a singing child. Whew. I Good have other CDs life. other than the Mississippi Mass Choir. <laughs> uh huh. Right. Right. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my goodness I gracious! Don't get us stoned! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> you you don't get us stoned. <laughs> that's, okay. that's all right. We we just honest. That's it. Yeah, yeah I know. Sometimes we're a little too honest. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, it's cool. It's cool. Okay, so who are some of your favorite artists in the gospel industry? Let's the gospel industry. We don't want to get okay. anybody stoned. So who are some of your right. favorites that are out now, some of the newer people? Some of the newer people are people. Um, Isaac Curry. He's a great okay. vocalist. Yeah, okay. I was going to say him, yeah. Curry. And um, well, I always love Mary Mary. Kurt yeah. Franklin. Yeah. Um, and Mally Music. Oh, yes, my yes, 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 him. That's him. Who was that? Mally Music. Oh, yeah, Mally. Okay, he's from Savannah. Shout out Savannah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. So, since you guys have kind of been in a transitional period um, during, you know, with your ministry and whatnot, I read a little bit. Let's see. Um, the Red Glasses Sisters Boutique. Can you tell me a little bit about that, Keanu? Okay. The boutique that my sister and I started about a year mm-hmm. or so ago, and um, we are so excited. That is our baby. It's still a baby. It's not full yeah. grown, but you know, God is doing some great, awesome things for that concern. So everybody, if you want some great accessories, go to www.theredglasssisters.com. Yeah, great Shout out. Right. <laughs> put a little plug in. Yeah, you got to put a plug in, right? <laughs> okay. Right. And you go to the Art Institute of Atlanta? Yes, I do. Okay. What are you majoring in? It's art. I mean, it's... I'm sorry? I said, what are you majoring in? I'm sorry. Advertising. Advertising? Okay. Uh-huh. So you guys have got a little business venture going on here. So I, yeah, I, we do. <laughs> and the BA in business, and you're married at Atkin? I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm yeah, that's, that's me, Atkin. Okay, so you're married and you have a BA in business. So you guys are just going to go, I mean, you're pursuing a BA in business, or do you already have it? I'll, I'm assuming I'll be graduating next year in May. Okay, well, that's cool. See, young ladies, you can do what God called you to do, singing, or whatever it is that God wants you to do, and you can get your education at the same time. That's very wise. So how do you guys balance all that? How do you balance all the stuff that you're doing? Right now Ooh. it's not as, uh, it's, well, yeah, I guess with Athen it would be a whole moment because <laughs> she's married, has a baby, and and all of that. But where I'm concerned, you know, I'm I'm just chilling. I, I don't know how to take that right now. I think I'm kind of jealous of Athen. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but no, it, um, it does. It, it gets a little hectic. It does. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 with the Lord's help, I balance. <laughs> it becomes balance. I, I have to balance it out. 
So, but it's not as bad. It just keeps it keeps you going, and, and including the, the things that we do at church. When my uh-huh. son, when my husband being a minister, us being in and out of there. So it's okay. it's a it's a balance. I wouldn't I wouldn't trade anything or stop anything at all, at all. Okay. All right. So the churches you guys go to. Give me some names. Names and pastors. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I go to um, Changing a Generation, Atlanta, Georgia. Bishop Paulus Morton is my bishop. <laughs> okay, then. Watch out. <laughs> uh, I attend Peace and Rest, Missionary Baptist mm-hmm. Church, Dr. R. Timothy Jones. Okay. Watch out, ladies. So you guys are busy in church, busy in school, business ventures. You know, you got your label and everything. That is great. Great, 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 great stuff going on. So if somebody wanted to get in contact with you to see you live or in concert or at a church, where would they actually go to find out where Zyel will be next? Okay, well, just hit us up on Facebook.com slash official Zyel or Twitter.com slash Zyel loves you too. Okay. All right, well, as we're closing, I'd like to thank you guys for interviewing with me today. It has been a treat. I can tell you guys are family, but I'm sure that the energy keeps going on, even if we had all three ladies on the phone at the same time, because it's good to be friends and do things together, you know, and to reach destiny together, so that's good. I'd like to thank you guys, and if you have any final thoughts or anything that you'd like to say to anybody listening, you can go ahead and do that at this time. We definitely like to take the time out to thank all of the fans over the years, you know, those who supported us, yes. ministry, musically, you know, just thank you so much and definitely to you, Bianca, for this great and awesome interview. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I, I say thank you, too, to all our fans, our new fans, our old fans, our upcoming fans, <laughs> <laughs> all the fans. I want to thank you guys so much for your support and look out for that new CD in 2012. And thank you, Miss Bianca. <laughs> I stop <stopped me> missing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time out to have this interview with us. Okay, well, thank you guys. So there you guys have it. Zyl back with a new look, a new sound, and a new record label. Check them out in 2012. And don't forget to log on to www.tacoagospelmusicnews.com for the latest and greatest, declaring the gospel in music and news.